one of the most exciting aspects of having a watch collection is getting all that variety within your collection to have an answer for every scenario. However, amongst all the watches on the market, there are very few that have the ability to stand on their own to be classified as an everyday watch, especially when you have a more limited budget. Yet these two watches in front of me today, I think perhaps are the perfect answer to everyday watches that sure still cost a considerable amount of cash, yet I think are delivering some of the best value for money on the market with the Zen 556i and the Zen 556iB. Now Zinn is a brand that I've admired for some time. I actually owned a Zinn 104 in the past. I think I've said this story many times. If you watched my first collection video, my first video ever here on YouTube, you would have seen it. Uh, it's now in my cousin's possession who's a pilot, but uh, I've always been fighting the temptation ever since letting that watch get passed along to get another Zinn in my collection. And for those not familiar with the brand, they are a German manufacturer founded back in 1961 by German flight instructor Helmut Zinn. The brand over the years has changed ownership, but have maintained a much deserved favorable reputation amongst watch enthusiasts for their well-constructed watches built with high durability and resistance to shock and magnetic properties. In short, amazing no-nonsense tool watches that deliver great value for money, especially with these two that we have here, which are essentially entry-level options for the brand. And big thanks to WatchBuys for sending me these watches for review. They're the authorized importer and distributor for Zen watches for North America, selling products directly to the consumer. I actually purchased my Zen 104 from them years ago, had a great experience. So if you're looking to buy Zen, definitely recommend checking them out. Now looking at these two watches and their case sizing and their specs, they're going to be nearly identical with just a couple of exceptions. Starting with the sizing, these watches fit the description of ultimate versatility with their wearability. The watch is clocked in with a completely satin finish, 38.5 millimeter case diameter, a thickness of 11 millimeters and lug to lug of 45.5 millimeters. Dimensions that for a tool watch with a non-rotating bezel, to me is the perfect sizing for the mass majority out there. They're going to be wearable for sub six inch wrists to eight inch wrists. And for my six and a quarter inch wrists or 15.9 centimeters, I think they just look fantastic on it. It tugs nicely to the wrist yet manages to still sustain a level of presence even with the extended crown and crown guards on the watch here. I think a good comparison in this wearability that many of you watching might be familiar with is the Seiko Sarb lineup. If you've ever worn a Saab 033, 035, or an Alpinus, just know that these are going to wear essentially the same here, with perhaps a little bit more size across the wrist. Now much of this wearability is also going to be impacted by the strap or bracelet option that you choose. Both of these watches are available with leather strap options, but one of the most telling elements of the build quality of these pieces is the satin finished bracelets. The 556iB with the blue dial comes with a fine link bracelet, this is what Zinn calls it, that gives off a much more dressy feel and will tug to the wrist a bit more, making it wear more compact on the wrist, so it might be a good option for smaller wrist people out there. The bracelet showcases a butterfly locking system that is secure when fully locked. On the Zinn 556i, we have Zinn's H-Length style bracelet, one that I tend to see featured on the majority of their watches, or on a lot of their watches. And of these two, I think would be my choice here. For one, the construction is heavier, feels better constructed, and I feel matches the tool watch kind of vibe here. The bracelet features a fold over clasp that has a locking system that feels more secure than to the fine link. In addition, it also features three micro adjustment points within the clasp that can be altered with the end of a strap changing tool for precise sizing and a strangely awesome inclusion of a diver extension, a feature that I don't see being put to use, but I mean, these do have 200 meters of water resistance, so if you ever felt like it, I suppose you could whip this out and throw it over a wetsuit. But I will say both of these bracelets are great and can be adjusted with Allen key tools that are actually provided with the watch after purchasing, as well as making it easy to change out straps with drilled lug holes and 20 millimeter lug width. However, in my time with them, I just kept them on the bracelets as I think they are both executed uniquely well. And speaking of being executed well, the same can be said for the dials. So the Zinn 556i comes with a classic black glossy dial with the word glossy in all caps here. This watch just really pops in photos and just on the wrist thanks to the dial and its high level of contrast with its printed Super Luminova white hour and minute markings that match the dip sword hands at the center. With the clean Zinn logo printed at the 12, automatic written at the six, and a date window at the three that blends in nicely with the black dial. 
On the other side, the Zen 556iB comes in with a blue dial, sunburst finish that really does give the watch a completely different feel. It does sustain the same printed minute markings, logo at the 12 and mark of automatic at the 6. Yet it separates itself even further with its outlined steel hands containing loom, absence of a date window, and most importantly, has applied hour indices on the dial. A point that really does help make the watch more premium, or at least look that, especially at closer inspection. However, despite both of these watches having different dial executions, they do sustain their tool watch classification with their use of sapphire crystals on the front and the back, and their use of loom, both of them having great loom. Yet I will say that the dipped hands and printed markers on the 556i in black will shine a bit brighter. Now within these watches, when it comes to movements, they're essentially the same, with the Zen 556i coming with an automatic SW201 and the Zen 556iB featuring an automatic ETA2824-2. The movements are essentially the same, with Salita just bringing forth a competitive alternative to the ETA2824-2 here. Both of these movements are top grade, or in Salita's case, labeled as chronometer equivalent movements. So in other words, these movements are essentially at the caliber achieved of those manufacturers that are ready to send movements in for chronometer certifications. And with Zinn's very close attention to detail, you're getting very close to that in terms of their accuracy here. The movements both operate at 28,800 vibrations per hour or four hertz, have a power reserve of 38 hours, and are hacking when unscrewing that screw down crown and pulling it to the outermost position. The movements are workhorses and are nothing incredible to look at, but I will say the cool copper gold colored Zinn sign rotor is a nice touch to see through the sapphire crystal on the back of the watch. Purchasing my first Zen watch years ago, I surprisingly did not give the 556 line much consideration for purchasing, which honestly was a big oversight on my part. With their impeccable sizing, impressive specs, great build quality of the case and bracelet, and relatively attainable price of just over $1,000 as well as looks that can be worn in nearly every scenario while still not losing a sense of its tool watch identity. In short, these watches might be the best everyday watches that you can find around this price. And I have to say, I'm a fan. So guys, now I ask you the question, which one of these would you choose? I think for me, I might choose the black glossy dial. I think it really does pop in photos and in person. It'd be really interesting if they could apply that same kind of glossy finish to a blue dial variant. I think that'd be really cool. But if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon as that's a huge help to me. Also, thanks again for Watch Buys for letting me borrow these watches for a month and trying them out. If you're in the market for Zen watches, I highly recommend checking them out. I'll have links in the description uh, to their store and actually the watches I'm reviewing here today. In addition, if you wanna stay up to date with our giveaways, definitely fill out that watch giveaway form and then follow me on Instagram as well. We have some great giveaways coming up. And guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.